Uh, my name is Manish Varma. I'm the managing principal for InCircle, uh, which is out of Finical Capital. In terms of uh, incentives or recognition of, uh, let's say, in either innovation or new ways of doing the same things, but in a better way, which is something that India actually has the ability to, to do. And we've been doing this all, all along, but the, the Porter Prize in that sense would, would recognize that, give it that global validity, and therefore maybe create a bigger market for that particular product, if it is, or for that service for that it is. Also, it puts India on the map in terms of what, what uh, is required in terms of innovation. There are systemic issues which actually need to be addressed in India for us to actually go forward uh, at many levels. And I think if, if there, are, there is a chance, maybe in the next 10 years, because there's always a chance to actually do things right, we just need the system to be strengthened at one level, and then at all the other levels will be fall in place, we hope. Though, of course, the, I would say the largest challenge that remains is for our population to understand that their own behavior is, needs to be changed. And that probably is the largest challenge that we face. I think India's business environment um, has been dominated by a, a government and a private sector compact for a long time. Since, uh, I would say, since the period of the 70s or earlier, where big business and government combination took over uh, in terms of the overall business scenario. That has to change, and that has to change means there has to be more smaller companies and medium level companies who can actually provide services and, and create products which are relevant for the Indian market using the global technology landscape and the global research landscape as its uh, base. And that, that is something that if that comes into place, the competition landscape will automatically get better. But of course, dealing with government is the main issue. But it's also not only that the government is not is the problem, it's also the society which has to step in place. Like I said earlier, it all has to do with behavior in terms of organizational behavior as well as individual behavior and the behavior that, that generates when you have a good society and a government interface. It has an ability to transform India into maybe let's say more higher value added, uh, higher manufacturing. Maybe there is an ability to do that, but there has to be also a conscious understanding that we ourselves cannot use our manpower that is still predominantly in agriculture suddenly into manufacturing. It will take time and to create something which will be competitive on the world market is where you want to sell it. Also you have a large internal market, there has to be many things that have to fall in place. So it's a good initiative, uh, but a lot of homework needs to be done at the back end.